Hey guys, so I'm going to speak quite loud, otherwise you won't be able to hear me with this mask on. So um, I've just um, started the shift now. I'm actually um, by the recess part of the department here. So that is the, one of the red zones where we see patients who are at risk of having coronavirus, or we believe have coronavirus. Um, and outside is where the ambulance is. This is where the ambulances come through with blue lights, who are very unwell, and they go into recess. We also um, go out and see in the ambulances the patient very briefly, have pop our heads in to see whether we think the patient has potential coronavirus or not. If they have potential coronavirus or confirmed coronavirus, they go into the red area, so either recess or majors, depending on how sick they are. If they don't have symptoms of coronavirus and they're in for an unrelated reason, we send them to the green area. So I've just seen a patient outside, I've triaged them, had a look at them outside, heard the story from the paramedics, and made a decision based on where the patient needs to go. So, um, so far, i um, seen quite a few patients in recess. Uh, it's hard work um, going in and out because you have to change into the PPE. This is our PPE room, so we go in there, change into our PPE equipment, and we go into recess, which is rather warm, shall we say. So three or four hours in there, and you do feel quite dehydrated. As you can see, we have um, uh, you know, good quality masks and stuff here, plenty of PPE. These ones, can be worn for a long period of time. You don't need to throw them away straight away, which is why I've got it on. I've worn it earlier on, I've been using it for several hours, and that's absolutely fine. Some of the other masks need to be thrown away sooner. So I'm gonna go back into the red majors now to see more patients. Um, I've got a, a, an elderly lady that needs to be seen. So I've just walked through now, we're into part of the um, department where we've got reception here at the front and the green part. So we've actually turned our paediatric department into green recess. So if a patient's not got coronavirus symptoms and well for another reason, we can put them in the recess part if they're sick enough. Uh, and then through here we have uh, red majors where I can go back into now to see more patients. So I'll catch up with you guys earlier. I just wanted to show you a little bit how we're kind of dividing patients into red and green. See you in a bit. So guys, I'm now in the recess uh, department. This is one of the bays, just to give you an example. Obviously, there's a patient not in here at the moment. Um, at the back there, we've got defibrillator and cardiac monitors here. And we can look at oxygen saturations, etc. cetera. Um, we can link up to the oxygen there. And then around the room, we've got the ability to have uh, all the equipment we need here, uh, gowns and things. And this is quite a large space. Obviously, it won't show that on the camera, but it's a space that we can obviously utilize with all the teams that are here to care for the patients. Um, so I just want to give you an idea of what recess really looks like. There's multiple bays like this, and we've got a nurse's desk there. We can keep an eye on all the patients as well. 